Konnichiwa and welcome to Sumo Primetime. I'm Hiro Morita. The November tournament gets underway this Sunday the 13th in Fukuoka and I am so excited and can't wait for the final tourney of the year and I'm sure you feel the same way. All right, today we're going to highlight three higher ranked Rikishi whom we think will make big impact in Fukuoka. And the first man we're going to highlight is the man who is hoping to make his way back to the highly respected rank. Sumo Primetime. This Rikishi turned pro in 2015 after winning a bunch of amateur titles. Do you recognize him? It required less than a year since his pro debut to reach the top Makuchi division. He is Mitake Umi, a three-time champion. Mitake Umi's relentless forward charge has enabled him to quickly become a force to be reckoned with in the top division. In the 2019 January tournament, he made a statement by sweeping all three Yokozuna Grand Champions. And after winning his third top division title in January this year, he was promoted to the second highest rank of Ozeki. However, it's been a bumpy road for Mitake Umi since getting promoted to Ozeki. After suffering another losing record in September, he's now been relegated to Sekiwake, the third highest rank. まあ、you know, when I talked to Mitake Umi, he sounded really determined to uh, return to Ozeki. And the stipulation for him to make that happen is to winning 10 matches in Fukuoka. It's easier said than done, but I have faith in Mitake Umi and I believe he will make Ozeki again. So best of luck to my man, Mitake Umi. All right, now let's shift our focus to Mitake Umi's former college teammate who's eager to Make Ozeki himself. Sumo Prabta. Yes, we are talking about Wakataka Kage, the winner of this year's March tournament. At 132 kilograms, he is one of the lightest Rikishi in Makuuchi. But he dominates his foes by attacking with his lethal weapon, Otsuke, or forearm block. When applying Otsuke, Wakataka Kage tightens his armpit and drives with his hips to raise his opponent's central gravity. Nobody does it better. Wakataka Kage belongs to Arashiro Stable. He's been honing his skills by practicing with his older brother Wakamoto Haru, who also competes in the top division. In the November tournament, Wakataka Kage is poised to make his presence felt again with another spectacular performance. <laughs> Small, prime time. 
トビザル is one of the sumo's rising stars. He stands 174 centimeters and weighs 133 kilos. トビザル is feisty and attacks with blazing speed to outmaneuver much bigger opponents. He calls himself the flying monkey. In September, Tobizaru knocked off Yokozuna Grand Champion Teru no Fuji for the first time. He went on to win 10 bouts and received the Outstanding Performance Award. Tobizaru has been promoted to the fourth highest rank of Komusubi for the November contest. Tobizaru is a small fighter and a big fighter. I'm very excited to get to the next one. I'm going to get to the next one. I'm going to get to the next one. All right, again. The November tournament gets underway this Sunday, the 13th, in Fukuoka, so make sure to watch the tournament. Also, check in with us on Sumo Prime Time for updates of the competition. All right,、uh, that'll do it for this time on Sumo Prime Time. I'm Hiro Morita. Arigato for watching and. Sayonara! Hey, thanks for watching Sumo Prime Time. If you're enjoying our channel, make sure and click and subscribe and check out all of our contents.